everyone, my name is Rachel Clark. Um, today I'm visiting Tokyo and uh, we have a, a really nice meeting here in a small um, room in a restaurant. And I have, uh, we have uh, Mr. and Mrs. Furukawa. Uh, they're from Fukushima. Uh, they're from Koryama, Fukushima. And we also have a Ms. Junko Isogai. Uh, also, she, uh, she's from Koryama. And uh, Ms. Yoshiko Ota. Minamisoma. Okay, she's from Minamisoma City. So, uh, and also we have Naoko Suzuki who yes. is videotaping yes. right now. She's from Iwaki. So, I would like to run some interview and uh, uh, translate for you. First of all, let's go on to the first question that was like this. Uh, did you notice health effects such as nosebleeds? Miscarriage, etc., during and after the nuclear accident. Yeah. I didn't realize the uh, any health effect immediately. For example, um, when it comes to decontamination of the school school facilities, uh, first of all, uh, faculties and uh, parents uh, were all uh, brought to campus, and we did uh, decontamination work together. The. なんかなまあトータル3回ぐらい、え、月を置いてやったんですけれども、そう Hi everyone, my name is Rachel. Can you explain what kind of um, decontamination work we did? Uh, first of all, protection was very minimal. We had a very thin masks for, uh, you know, when there's something that we use when we, have, when we catch a cold. And uh, we had a nylon jacket to cover our body and some people used to wear a hat or some people didn't. Anyway, so the fathers used to uh, dig up uh, uh, upper soil and the mothers used to uh, hold a, a big uh, cloth bags to store uh, soil, right? So when they pour soil into the bag, of course it got, it kind of, you know, uh, some particles starts fo floating around. Um, at that time, what we had felt was some kind of a, a uncomfortable thing in, my, in our eyes, and our throat started to have uh, experience some kind of a weird uh, thing. That was the beginning. And uh, uh, later on, when we went back home, we started to experience diarrheas. Uh, when it comes to our children, uh, at the beginning we, they were okay, but later on, whenever they go outside uh, to play, when they come back, they had a, a, a no, nose bleeding and things like that. So I was there, I mean, in Koryama city until March of 2012. Up until then, almost every single day, my children, my daughters used to experience nose bleeding like four or five times a day, every day. The amount of the blood that comes out of the nose is amazing. First it starts from the right hand side and then the left and then, start, then later on from both nodes started to bleed and then the amount of the blood is so much as much as that uh, uh, the clog in the throat. Okay. Of course they cannot swallow the blood so they, they used to spit it out. So, um, this continued so many days and uh, um, as a mother I did as much as possible <laughs> in order to prevent <laughs> their internal <laughs> exposure. I used to purchase everything that we ate from outside of the Fukushima prefecture. Yeah. Rice, vegetable, you name it. We also purchased the water from outside of Fukushima. Uh, despite everything I've done, still I've seen my daughters uh, experiencing uh, nose bleeding every day, every single day. And it's, the, gradually, I started to, you know, become very angry at them, and I started yelling at them. You know, why are you still bleeding? You know, it was like a hell. Okay. Well, I used to bring my daughters to uh, otorhino laryngologist to have him check our daughter's nose. And I used to ask the doctor, is it really because of radiation? And the, daughter, and the doctor used to smile and said, no, it is not. You know, there must have been really strong pressure from somewhere, not to mention any word of radiation among local doctors. Um, anyway, as a mother, I know it was unusual, for sure. 
あまり気になるんであれば。